Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, turn on post notifications. Today we're going to be making an American classic, a seafood boil. Let's get it. All right, to about four uh, quarts of boiling water, you're going to add your zatarans, shrimp and crawfish. See, you're also going to get your shrimp and crab boil liquid. This is where a lot of your flavor and heat's going to come from. You're going to add about one to two tablespoons into your water. And you're going to get your stove on high heat and you're going to go ahead and let that start to boil. While you wait for that to start getting hot, you're going to get your potatoes together and some uh, paprika. Sprinkle some of that in the water as well. Just a little bit of added flavor. All right, that's just a little tip for me to you flavor without using so much salt you know seasoning salt garlic salt those things regular salt um, go ahead and get you eggs put as much as you really want um, most of my family doesn't really like eggs in the seafood bowl so we only did I think I did like five or six um, nothing crazy go ahead and get that added go ahead and get that covered so your eggs will start to boil the one that I was peeling the potatoes and got the potatoes into the pot as well I forgot to record that part that was on me all right, go ahead after about 10 to 12 minutes, go ahead and take your eggs out and drop them in a ice bath, which is basically just a container with cold water and uh, makes it very, very easy to de-shell your eggs. Doing it this way, going straight from hot straight into the cold, shell comes off like nothing. Um, while you do that, you go ahead and get your crab legs. We did about four pounds. I'll go ahead and get that into the water. Um, your crab legs aren't going to really need to cook for that long. Actually, let me rephrase that. They don't need to be on the stove that's turned on for that long. Um, which I'm added into the water. Bring it back to a boil. From here, you're going to add in our Old Bay seasoning. Now, this is where the real flavor of your seafood is going to come from. Right? Now, I'm using the 33% less sodium because, again, you don't want all that added salt. And we're going to use... Uh, Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning again no real salt mix that up and bring that back to a boil as you can see the potatoes are already in there they're underneath the crab so that's why the crab didn't really sink to the bottom so go ahead and uh, bring that back to a boil while you're shelling your eggs uh, you can go ahead and add your shrimp in as well again the heat's not going to be on for much longer so your your shrimp and your crab meat won't overcook and get rubbery this is literally going to stay on the high heat for at most an additional two to three minutes what will happen is once you turn off the pot the heat of the pot will continue to cook your food um, and that uh, shrimp and crab boil mix that, that you saw me put in the liquid that's really where you're going to get a lot of heat the longer that sits the hotter it gets all right so you go ahead and cover it from there on the side, you go ahead and start cutting up your andouille sausage. This one is a mixture. Unfortunately, I'm not putting this in because we do have family members who don't eat meat, but do eat pork, but they do eat seafood. So I'm gonna do this on the side. I'm gonna get this in our princess house air fryer. Again, if you need an air fryer, let me know. I'll get you in contact with our princess house rep. Get you a really nice air fryer, as you can see. Um, set it to about 350. 10 minutes drop your sausage in and let them cook ten minutes have passed take them out look at that beautifully cooked andouille sausage man now for your dipping sauce you're gonna add a stick and a half of unsalted butter and then a stick of garlic butter into your microwave about three minutes let that start to melt I took it out at about Two minutes left added in a little bit of Old Bay added in a tablespoon of put it back and let that to melt uh, after that I just went ahead and stirred it put it in a bowl and there you have it it takes about 30 minutes to get this recipe done so as you see we sped through it but there you go egg andouille sausage crab shrimp um, you can add corn to it that's another real addition and shrimp Enjoy. See y'all later.
thank you so much again don't forget to like share subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next video and i do have uh some youtube shorts coming up soon so stay tuned for those see y'all later